Hello, so welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Caiaphas Kane, my Jedi Knight, and we are saying goodbye to Mechgar on our way to the world of Corellia to aid in its defense from the Imperial invasion. So, we're meeting with General Dayrune on the Telios. Are we beginning Objective Meridian? Indeed, we are. Commander, welcome. Let's get started right away. Of course. I'm sure time isn't on our side. It so rarely is. Galena Rands, I'm the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. But don't hold that against me. It's an honor to meet you, Chancellor. Honor's all mine. Haven't gotten to come to a briefing like this since my time in the 439th Bomber Wing. This is Fleet Admiral Newman. He'll be commanding the naval aspects of Corellia's defense. A challenge, to be sure. But thanks to the reinforcements we've received, one that we can overcome. All right, then. How do we defend Corellia? How do we save the Meridian Complex shipyard? The captured Dark Counselor, Darth Savick, revealed much about the enemy fleet's capabilities. But she didn't know their attack plan. I've positioned our ships for maximum flexibility. Rapid reaction is our best hope. How can the Alliance fleet help with the battle? I'd like to keep them hidden on the far side of the planet Talus. Once we've seen the Empire's strategy, they can hyper-jump in wherever they'll be most effective. Savik has also revealed that the Imperial Armada will include a group of dreadnoughts equipped with Isotope 5 generators, and another with silencer superweapons. Meaning? The Isotope 5 ships will be much faster than standard, with far stronger shields. The silencers can destroy capital ships in a single shot. What do we have that can go up against weapons like those? We had hoped Admiral Revald's null cannons would be available in time. But the prototypes are still too unstable to deploy. All right, that's everything in orbit. How about planet side? Anti-aircraft turrets and defensive shielding are already in place. So long as they remain operational, the facility will be safe from aerial attack. And our ground forces? We've deployed as many soldiers as possible to the Meridian Complex. But it was built as a shipyard, not a fortress. We can only station so many troops in the facility before we end up leaving them exposed. So, the rest are positioned as close by as possible. I've gathered as many Jedi as I could to join the defense, including volunteers from Corellia's Green Jedi. But there are still too few to repel a significant Sith contingent. Commander, we'd like you and your Alliance forces to join the ground defense group and help tip the odds in our favor. Do we know anything about the Empire's ground forces? Will Malgus be leading them? That's a safe bet. But we know little else, unfortunately. Savik wasn't involved in that aspect of the plan either. Sounds like everyone knows their job. The Republic's counting on you, friends. If we're gonna put up a decent fight going forward, we need that shipyard. Make us all proud. Safe travels. Newman out. We'll make our way to Corellia in my personal ship. There should be just enough time to cook up a nice Rishkate and a pot of Gatalentan before we arrive. Tao informed me of Arn's difficulties on Meksha. I want to thank you for keeping her involved as you did. Arn acted rashly, but thanks to you, Master and Student have been brought closer together as a result. Recognizing when help is needed can be very important, but recognizing who should be giving that help, that can be even more important. What made you assign Arn as Tao's Padawan? They face the same challenges. Neither of them feels they fit the mold of the ideal Jedi. Both struggle with past traumas. By teaching Arn, Tao will realize how far her abilities truly go. In learning from Tao, Arn will find that his past doesn't prevent him from becoming a great Jedi. Now then, enough talk. We have a battle to win, don't we? Not to mention, I was in a Bacta tank the last time Dayrune brewed this tea of his. I want to see what all the fuss is about. I imagine you'll need an emergency induction port to drink the tea. But you must admit, it's hardly the Sith approach. I've grown far stronger working beside him than I ever could have become through treachery. Intriguing. 
I suppose the Sith Code never specifically calls for the usurpation of the Master by the Apprentice. Merely the pursuit of greater power. Precisely. It's only natural that the strongest should lead, but the goal should be strength, not necessarily leadership. If one is truly strong, leadership comes inevitably. A unique point of view among the Sith. Perhaps that's why we aren't among the Sith now. Passing the time with a bit of philosophical discussion? Yes. Quite enjoyably, in fact. I hope we can speak more later. Exiting hyperspace in the Corellia system, now. Groups 4 and 5, position Orc 9. 6, 7, and 8, stagger column behind them. Beirun here, report. The enemy arrived ahead of schedule. They're split into three groups we've designated Hound, Raptor, and Swarm. Energy signatures tell us half group contains the isotope 5 dreadnoughts. We're approaching our lines head on at maximum speed. Following behind, Raptor group. Vertical halo formation to maximize field of fire. The silencers, covering Hound group's approach. Swarm group contains the bulk of the attacking fleet. It dropped out of hyperspace on the far side of the planet, well out of weapons range. Objective unknown. Understood. How can we help? Approach in the vector we're sending now to avoid Raptor Group's targeting range. Then make for the surface. Admiral, it's Swarm Group. The vessel opened fire. Open fire on what? We're out of range. They aren't firing on us. They're firing on the surface, the cities. Residential, manufacturing. It's totally indiscriminate. We have to stop them. Thousands, even millions could die. Redeploying any of our ships will weaken our defensive blockade significantly. There is the Alliance fleet, but we need them to trap the silencers. Forget the plan. Those people need us. Admiral Ego, get to the far side of Corellia. Stop the Imperials any way you can. Copy that. Moving out. What the? Reading multiple new targets. They must have been hidden by Hound's energy signatures. They're going to beat us to the surface. All shuttles, prepare for launch! So the Empire got here ahead of us, unfortunately. A wave of Imperial dropships beat us to the surface. We're in for a fight! Finally, solid ground. Nice flying. Arn, are you ready? Ready, Master. We'll follow your lead. Time to kick the Empire off Corellia for good. All teams report in. Everyone make it groundside? Our team is all right. We passed the outer defenses. All clear in our sector. We're heading for a tram pylon nearby. Jorgen wants to set up a sniper perch. Good here too, taking a more subtle approach. If I say it over the comm, it would kind of defeat the purpose. It's just business as usual here. <laughs> That's, uh, good to hear. Stay in contact. Out. Okay, the Imperials already beat us to the Meridian Complex. But we're gonna push through their rear guard. Hopefully catch them before they destroy the shipyard itself. And they've kind of taken control of some artillery positions, it seems.
Job breath. We've hit the rear guard, we need to find and reclaim the Republic's defensive line. The Imperials, this battle, seeing it all in person, it's, it's a lot to take in. Don't let the chaos break your focus. The Force will guide you through it all, if you let it. Focus. Focus. Thanks. want to destroy the shipyard of even hired mercenaries to do some of the work for that. <laughs> Vulture Squadron here. Do become enraged. That's We've a problem. We've a large group of Imperial reinforcements. We're going to hold this position and try to head them off. Do you need help? We'll back her up. You keep moving. Quite a team you've got. Should we help them? We've handled a lot of crazy situations over the years. They'll be fine. Oh, we're not supposed to see that. That's a bit of a spoiler. Armor? What armor? I didn't see any armor. I didn't see any name attached to that armor either. The main road is blocked off by Imperial bombing damage. You have to find another way around. Maps show Salonian tunnels nearby. They should bypass the wreckage. So we need to reach the monorail which will lead us to the Meridian Complex. <laughs>
Hopefully the Salonians are keeping them busy. since we killed so many Sith. It feels good. Perhaps an Imperial officer. Enemy units encountered in Sector 8. Requesting backup at my location. with the rest of the imps. Can anyone assist? Leave them to us. Mandalorian, prepare for boarding. Okay. The Mandalorians are here and they want to board one of the Isotope 5 Dreadnoughts. It's a bold plan. Trying to take 
control of the monorail, get ourselves over to the Meridian Complex itself. The monorail seems to be operational. We can take it up to the spire. We'll keep this area secure. The Republic forces are starting to take control of the checkpoints once again. Darth Malagus has been spotted leading an attack group toward the control center. We have to hurry! Onwards to the central spire. We're doing our best to hold off the imps, but a few units have gotten past us. They were heading toward the auxiliary shield controls on the 30th floor. Trying to bring down the shield so that their fleet can come bombard the shipyard. It's actually a rather good plan. Why bring explosives when your fleet can do the damage if they bring the shields down? We are just outside of Coronet City, I believe. We have Corsac here along with the Green Jedi. Far, we're certainly succeeding in our efforts. Oh, we're heading up. Ah, okay, yeah, we're taking the elevator up, aren't we? that way. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you! Commander! Tau, Arn. We're all right, old man. And this is? Theron Sedrax, foremost authority on exotechnology and principal systems engineer of this once fine facility. Where's Darth Malgus? Sidetracked. Stalled. Diverted! When I calculated that our physical security was insufficient. I rerouted all facility defense systems to a secondary control station near the top of the spire. It's a miracle that you survived to tell us. How did you manage it? 
Once I established my dedication to the pacifist ethos, I was deemed non-threatening and merely stunned. Presumably they recognized my genius and intended to press me into service. The Sith Lord, Malgus? He and the last of his troops set off up the elevators toward the secondary controls. You're not too late to stop them. If you read me, you better hunker down. Some of the reinforcements got past us and they are not in a great mood. We can hold this level with our troops. You three, go on. Malgus must be stopped. Come with us, we can fight him together. No, seeing me alive will only fuel his rage even further. This is your fight, all three of you. Fight as one, and you can defeat him. May the Force be with you. Um, no offense, but I'd rather go with a low one. The others he could use as human shields. And we have fought him before. Baron Cedrax. All clear. Ah. I believe he is a companion of the Jedi Consular. It's been a while. To the auxiliary control level. Malchus! Commander, I've been looking forward to meeting you. And Tower Dare, didn't you bring that old fool with you? I'm told he survived our last encounter. Couldn't kill one poor old Jedi. You're slowing down in your old age. Am I? Alert! Shield power decreasing. Shield system failure imminent. Shall we die together? You think we'd give up so easily? I think I will kill you easily. Think again. Ah, oh, Malchus, it's been a while. Nothing special in terms of his abilities right this moment. We have to watch out for the edge of the arena, of course. I was afraid of. I thought I was destroyed all those years ago. I will show you the true nature of destruction. You do like the sound of your own voice, Malcolm. None of you have the resolve, the strength to beat me. to know either. Your resistance is commendable, but futile. That point's getting bigger. So it wasn't just a story then. You actually destroyed him. You are strong enough. No matter. I will not fail. Your shipyard will crumble. Your republic will burn. We should be stopping this. I will not fail. Shield system. 
system failure. Structural damage detected. Evacuation protocols in effect. Shield power restored. Structural support units deployed. Fire suppression systems activated. External defensive systems restored. Targeting hostiles. Now. All forces, our assault has failed. The shields cannot be penetrated. Regroup at our viewpoint fresh. Now. We've done it. All ships, regroup at the Meridian Complex. Secure any remaining enemy forces on the surface and prepare search and rescue teams for deployment. We've won the impossible battle. But the day isn't over until we've gotten everyone home safely. Get to it. They're supposed to jump on a ship and abandon our comrades, but you know. I'm sure they're fine. The conquering hero. You saved the day again. Well done. It wasn't easy, but we pulled it off. We're getting a mountain of good intel out of the captured soldiers and ship crews, not to mention data from the wreckage. Exciting times, but I won't keep you. Just wanted to pass on my congratulations. See you around. Well, if it isn't one of my new favorite people. Tau and Arn both escaped with only minor injuries. They'll be along shortly. All Corellia forces are still on alert, but it would seem Malgus has escaped us once again. One miss in a day full of hits. We'll get him eventually. The production lines are firing back up in a matter of days. We'll get new ships to our frontline units in no time. The Empire committed a lot to this attack. They're gonna be hurting for a while and we'll be ready to press the advantage. We've spent a lot of time with our backs to a wall. It will be good to finally take the initiative. Couldn't agree more. So what am I supposed to do with you? The hero of the Republic who's not in the Republic. At least not for some years now. I believe there's a simple solution, Chancellor. I agree. Consider this your formal invitation, Commander. Come back to us. Join the Republic, and bring all your friends and your planet with you. All of my people? You know that some of them were part of the Sith Empire. I do. And if you were willing to give them a chance, then so am I. Odessan becomes a member world of the Republic, with a senator and everything. Every one of your people, even the ones with criminal charges or intelligence files with frowny faces on them, they all get clean records and citizenship, if they want it. What's more, you'll be heading a new initiative we're cooking up. One I think you'll like. General? Task Force Nova. A joint military and civilian effort to help the Jedi rebuild their order. My research suggests that there are still countless Jedi scattered across the galaxy. We will find them, and we will build them a new home. You're not planning to rebuild on Tython? Tython will remain a stronghold of the Jedi, but we have been separated from the rest of the galaxy for too long. Our new home should be found amongst the people of the Republic, not hidden away. Rebuilding the Jedi means rebuilding the Jedi High Council. I can think of no one I would rather welcome as this new council's first member. After all, in times like these, the role of Battlemaster becomes more important than ever. I'll be your liaison with the Republic military. We'll provide security, reconnaissance, and intelligence support. That's quite an offer. Of course, if you'd rather keep the Alliance as it is, that's fine too. You'll still be our top ally, and we'll still want your help with the task force. But the rest, 
the titles, the areas of responsibility, that's all a package deal for signing up. So, back to the Republic and the Jedi, or stick with the Alliance as is. I've been away from the Republic and the Jedi for too long. Count me in. Welcome to the Galactic Republic. Now then, this is going to take quite a bit of paperwork. Until next time. Oh, Master. you lured us in, and now you tell us about the paperwork. God damn it. I knew she was a senator and in politics for some reason. Life I'm day. told I may need to invest in some brighter clothing. It'll take some time to redecorate Odessa to coincide with our new allegiance, but I'll have the process started as soon as possible. Fitting in with the Republic, with the Jedi, should be interesting. Nost Doral, at least, seems open-minded enough. Told you he was all right. Even so, I think I'll keep my more proactive methods to myself from this point on. Shall we stop by the cantina? I understand one of the generals is offering free drinks for anyone with an impressive Corellia story. After the action we saw, we'll bankrupt the poor guy. Well, if he wasn't ready for the risks, he shouldn't have started the tab. Hey, need a minute of your time. By all means. Well, if it isn't the improvised free climbing champion of Corellia. When he smashed the platform, I thought it was all over. I can't believe you managed to get back up there and fix the shields. You're everything they say you are. And so was Malgus. We were lucky to survive it all. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Thanks. Do the two of you have a new mission yet? For now, we'll be helping to run relief supplies back to Corellia. Can't risk pirates grabbing any of them. Before we go, there's something else we need to talk about. When Arn and I were buried in all of that wreckage, we didn't dig ourselves out. We had help. From who? Someone who loves you. Kara! It's been so long. We meet again, at last. Wait. You're the one who attacked me on Mech Shah. You've been following me. Watching me, why? A necessary test. And you passed. What are you talking about? The Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorion. Whatever his name. He was a part of you. We all felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I'm so glad to see you both. After all these years, I'd feared the worst. We'll never be apart like that again. Never. We have so much to tell you. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. United with Scourge and Kira Carson, of course. And we've gained all sorts of rewards for our trouble. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, we now can access the mission boards of Onderon and Mekshar to earn reputation, at least with the Royal Guard of Onderon. And we have a lot to talk about with Lord Scourge and with Kira, of course, back on Odessan. But, 
I suppose we've come to a perfectly good place to take a break once again. Yeah, I had a bit of concern there when I was collecting my rewards and I saw Kira Carson and Scourge's armor in our inventory. I was like, oh, oh dear. And we have all the life day festive decorations up. Lovely. But no, we'll take a break here. I believe we've now ended the major story arc of the Onslaught expansion. But there is some other post-story content leading us towards the legacy of the Sith expansion. We learn about this last danger of the Sith Emperor. But I'm sure Scourge will let us know more. Whew. Get through a flashpoint. Happy reunion ends suddenly. But I'm sure we'll have more of a happy reunion. We'll talk more next time. But for now, thank you all for joining me with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye bye now.